who sets up to become a civil servant hopes that one day, if he cannot be head of service, at least he should retire as a permanent secretary. So as you are all well aware, we have laid a foundation beyond it to the window level to diversify and completely decouple Prosperous State from federal allocation dependence. You are therefore the soldiers, that armada of army, that will take this battle in providing that corridor of hope, that prosperity superhighway that will lead Crossbar State from migrating from third world to first world. I want to celebrate you, but please don't give me shame. Having done what I have done, it's your responsibility to bring back discipline into the civil service. There's a loss of discipline, lateness to work. It is the job of the permanent secretary. You are the chief accounting officer of your ministry. You are the chief accounting officer of your parastata. You are the discipline officer of your ministry. You are the real custodian of the heritage of the civil service structure. I want to congratulate all of you, and I know that this mass elevation to permanent secretary is a demonstration that there have been people who have suffered injustice in the system. Shameful enough, some of you have been elevated to permanent secretary today. Perhaps those people that you even taught them and trained them in the job have even been elevated before you. But don't forget, God's time is the best.